Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your insulin pen as a live demo. There are two points that I want you to take away from this. One of them is the insulin pens are for single use only, meaning this should only be used for one specific patient that it is identified for, never to be used on two separate patients, even if it's the same type of insulin that they're using. True story that I heard in nursing school, a nurse lost their job because they use this on two separate patients. So be sure to be cautious because I don't want anything to happen to you. The second tip that I want you to take away is every time you use your insulin pen, you want to clean the rubber stopper before you attach the needle cap. But before we get into the good stuff, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. All right, so before administering insulin one, it's gonna start with a blood sugar level that's abnormal. So if it's out of range, you're gonna need coverage. So you're gonna correlate that blood sugar level, which I have a video on how to check a blood sugar, which I will include in the link below. You're going to correlate that number, that value, with the insulin sliding scale. So let's say the blood sugar was 167. So you're gonna cover it with four units of insulin. So before going to the patient's room, you are going to gather all your supplies. You're gonna get your insulin pen, which should be in a locked cassette. You're gonna get your needle cap, your alcohol prep, your pair of gloves. You're gonna go into the room. If you haven't already identified yourself, you should. You should get two patient identifiers from the patient to verify that it's safe. You're gonna open up your computer system and you're going to verify with scanning the medication, scanning the armband, and you're also gonna have a second nurse verify and make sure that it is indeed four units and they typically will sign off on the computer as well. So let's get into the skills. So let's go over the parts of an insulin pen. This is your insulin cap and I left it blank and empty because this is the cassette of the insulin or the frame of the cassette. And I left it like this because you never receive this from the pharmacy like this, but I wanted you to see how it is. And I also want you to know this is what it looks like. Um, this is a three mil pre-filled um, insulin syringe. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew it which you'll never have to do this, but I just want you to see the mechanics of it. And then you're going to screw this together. Okay, and then this is the rubber stopper that I was talking about that you want to clean with alcohol. So I'll show you that, so we'll clean that. And then this is the part where you will add on the needle cap. So you're gonna take off the back rubber um, paper and you're gonna attach it to the insulin pen, okay? And then you're gonna take off the cap and you have your insulin pen. And then this is your dosage window, which is set at zero. The highest it goes is you can use the dial here and it goes as high as 60. So based on the number of units you're gonna administer, um, you can dial it based on what it is, okay? And then let's say we're gonna give six. So then you would push the button. But before you're gonna give it, you always wanna prime it. So what I typically do is I'll keep the cap over this one. And so I will um, dial it to two, cause I'm gonna prime it. And then I'm gonna push this button and I'll see that it gets wet. Um, but I'm gonna open the cap cause I want you to visually see it squirt out. Did you see that? I hope you did. <laughs> so, um, you know it's ready to be, um, to be um, dosed. So like we said, based on the blood sugar, we're gonna get four units. So that's one, two, three, four. So that is four units. So I'm going to verify this with the second nurse. She's going to say, yes, that is four units. And I'm gonna physically show her, there's gonna be a label on here. Let's say it's John Smith. Blood sugar was 167. I am giving four units. And then she'll say, yes, this is John Smith there is four units verified. And then she will doc he or she will document that on the computer. And then this is where you will administer the medication. Um, when you do administer it, just for a little recap, you will clean the site. You're gonna pinch the site. You're gonna inject into a 90 degree angle. And then when you do inject, you're gonna hold this for six seconds and then you're gonna remove the actual needle from the patient, then you mechanically will release your index finger 
and then you will remove this top and put in the disposable hazard. I said it very slowly because I want you guys to be able to capture it, but it happens really quickly. And just know that this insulin pen is actually good for um, 28 days. And then you'll dispose of this. Just take this out and put it in a sharps container and you're good to go. If you find value in this content, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment below, show some love, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.